Son of God is dreaming of a world that never was. Yeah, the, the realm of beliefs is completely the realm of the ego. Uh, so God does not believe. Um, God's thoughts, you might say that Christ, the pure Christ idea, is an idea in the mind of God. So Christ was thought or thunk by God in, in creation. That Christ is an idea in the mind of God. But this idea has nothing to do with belief. Beliefs only arose with the separation. So everything that's believed is in the domain of the ego. Now of all these ego beliefs, it's like a haystack of, of, of giant haystack of beliefs. There's a golden little needle that is in the haystack. And it's a belief too. All the strands of hay are beliefs, and there's a golden needle. And God doesn't even know about the needle. He does, he's so <laughs> beyond this world, he doesn't know about the haystack or even the needle. But the needle is inspired by God, because the needle is the Holy Spirit. The needle is salvation. In heaven, there's nothing to save. It's not like God needs to be saved, or heaven, there's no salvation in heaven. And there's no forgiveness in heaven, because forgiveness, there must be condemnation first, before forgiveness is necessary. So all of these hay strands are part of these false identities and false perceptions, and the needle is forgiveness, and the needle is the only way out of the haystack. You know, it, when I was growing up, people would use that thing, oh, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Well, forgiveness is the golden needle that's in the haystack. And God doesn't even know about that. Again, because in heaven there's nothing to forgive, so why would God know about forgiveness? If it's just pure oneness. So the Holy Spirit is helping us find that needle. God doesn't believe. God has no egoic emotions. Uh, God is just pure love, pure love, pure oneness, pure joy, pure happiness, and God doesn't even know of the existence of this world. And someone could say, well, why is that? If God is all-knowing and all-powerful, you know, and, and all-loving, you know, those are the things we were told about God, then how is it that God doesn't know about this world? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Only that which God creates exists. Nothing else exists. And still we have to be practical. You know, it's like, okay, well, hmm, nothing to get hung about. You know, Why? Because nothing is real in the Beatles song. He says, it says nothing is real. It, it doesn't exist. And God, yes, God is eternal. You could say if there's anything that exists, it's God and Christ. And the purest form of, or the purest of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is also an eternal creation, but he seems to take on the form of a voice while he seems to be needed. But when you forgive this world, then the, that voice for God is going to disappear too. You know, you're not going to get to heaven. I love you. Say this three times today. You know, it's like, no, you are love. You don't have, there's no words. 